Alright, Mr. Simons here and welcome back. Now take note. Surprise question. We've asked it in a February paper and can pop it in a final exam or prelim. Right? Concept where we use compound increase and decrease to calculate ratio. Right? So I'll just show you. This is from February 2015. For each of the three years from 2010 to 2012, so they say it's three years, the population of town X decreased by 8% per year. Population of town Y increased by 12% per year. So we have a decrease and we have an increase for town X and Y. The end of 2012, so at the end of the three years, the populations of these towns were equal. Determine the ratio of population of town X, call it PX, to the population of town Y, call it PY at the beginning of 2010. Right, so if you want to read there, I'm just pausing for a moment read through it again. Right, so we have PX and PY, population of the two towns at beginning of 2010. Take note, no value was be given. Right, uh, lot PX and PY, the before cons, yes, and it went or upon the begin of 2013. Right, so they say at the end of 2012, these two towns were equal. So the crude value for town X and the crude value for town Y is equal. So population X, the formula PX, 1 minus, interest rate is 8% per year. So that's 1 minus 0 0.08 to the power 3Y. It's decreasing, right? On the other side, it's an increase, and that's 12% per year. It's been increasing for 3 years, so 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 3. Now as a ratio, you should know PX divided by PY would then equal 1 plus 0, 0,12 to the power 3 divided by 1,008 to the power 3, which then effectively gives me 1,404 divided by 0, 0,778 if I simplify. Now 0, 0,078 divided by itself would give me 1, and 1,404 divided by 0, 0,778 gives me approximately 1,8. So these two towns are in a ratio 1,8 to 1. So one mark for equating them, one mark for making AX equal to PX, 1 minus 0, 0,08 to the power 3 for town X. Same applies for town Y and one mark for the answer. So that's just a surprise question that I want to make you aware of. I haven't found one in a textbook as yet, but yes. We can ask financial maths as a ratio. So hope you follow, hope you understand. All the best. Goodbye.